But see, when you think about it, now that your heart is opening up with that Knight of Cups energy, it makes sense that you would realize, holy shit, this is a toxic situation. And sure. But see, when you think about it, now that your heart is opening up with that Knight of Cups energy, it makes sense that you would realize, holy shit, this is a toxic situation. And sure, I might be opening up to more compassion and more love and more understanding. And sure, technically that should mean that I have more compassion for other people, but that also means I have more compassion for myself, Ace of Cups. And now I recognize that there are things in my life that are, that are causing great imbalance. But see, when you think about it, now that your heart is opening up with that Knight of Cups energy, it makes sense that you would realize, holy shit, this is a toxic situation. And sure, I might be opening up to more compassion and more love and more understanding. And sure, technically that should mean that I have more compassion for other people. But that also means I have more compassion for myself, Ace of Cups. And now I recognize that there are things in my life that are causing great imbalance. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your day or your moment, whenever this resonates for you. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading, so like I said, this can resonate for you at any moment, yes? So just give it time if it doesn't resonate right away or if it doesn't make sense right away. Ultimately, if you were guided to watch this reading, then there's something in this message that is meant for you. Yes? Um, happy Thursday. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a good week. Uh, I apologize for yesterday's mishap, <clears throat> um, but I woke up to no power. And it did come back around 11 o'clock in the morning, which is great. Because I was able to get on with the rest of what I wanted to do yesterday, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so, but here we are, yes? And we're back outside again. I definitely felt like I wanted to continue with that vibe um, because so many of you expressed how much you enjoyed having our session here, our daily morning session here, or whenever this is for you in your day, having it here outside. Um, so I'm gonna continue to do that as much as I feel it's right to do, yeah? Excellent, so. Keeping up with it today. We are going with the uh, Vice Versa Tarot here as our main deck for today's session or for this session. And then we have the After Tarot for our clarifiers. And then I was already guided to pull a Oracle deck. And so we're gonna be going with the Crystal Mandala Oracle. Yeah? Cool. All right, so here we go. Let's get into this here. Oh, hi Jinx, are you joining us? Jinx may be joining us for our session today, and then Orion's like there. Okay, here we go, kids. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, places, romances, relationships, and circumstances in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Oh, there's Jinx. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get started here, yeah? We're gonna give this five shuffles. One. <laughs> Two. I tried to clean off the lens. This is three. Um, and it only created more of a flare here around me, which is kind of cool. I don't mind it. Okay, this is three. This is four. Oop, try that again. This is four. 
<clears throat> and this is five. Alrighty, y'all. So let's see what we've got for today. What's going on with the collective today? Okay. So there's a, there's a there's a sense of desperation here almost. Okay, yeah. Overall energy, you have the two of wands. On the other side, you do have the page of swords. Back is turned. Um, however, and then also with that, you do have the seven of pentacles. Now, here's the thing about the seven of pentacles energy that I'm picking up on, and this is where the sense of desperation is coming through here. Um, my focus is being brought to the look on this person's face you see and it's kind of it's kind of desperate there's a little bit of woe is me going on here but what i what i feel like this is talking about for whomever this re reading is for it feels like you're really trying to figure out what's going on here i'm getting specifically what's wrong with this situation or why something is not working there also is a, a sense of knowing that you need to go in a different direction or knowing that you need to make some sort of change and trying to figure that out but I'm getting a pretty strongly I'm getting almost a nine of swords energy in which um, I, I feel like panic is kind of starting to set in but that's because you're allowing your ego to really run amok with these energies you're allowing your ego to like um, Well, your, your ego is getting in the way. I'm hearing that it's holding you back in some of these circumstances because you have so much of a requirement in terms of time is what I'm feeling like here. And that's why this I, it almost feels like this sense of desperation is coming through with the Seven of Pentacles energy. Seven of Pentacles being an energy of needing to figure out why something isn't growing or why something isn't working or at least coming to a place on your journey where you're taking stock of what it is you have so far and kind of trying to align that with where you're wanting to grow, go or grow, okay? Um, but I feel like this sense of desperation is coming through in terms of this circumstance because you're putting too much of a time constraint on, constraint on things. And in some cases, I'm feeling like maybe there is naturally in this situation, there's a, there's a time limit. But overall, what I'm feeling like here is that you don't have to freak out necessarily so much about this. Now, something that I am getting about this here I am feeling like there is a bit of a time constraint for somebody, or maybe for a number of you. Um, something that's specific that has come through here, it feels like somebody may need to move homes, um, and that could be where this whole time element is coming into play. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know what exactly, I mean, it could be any reason why you need to change homes, you know, you're, you've gone, you're going through a breakup, you're going through a divorce, I am, I am picking up on divorce pretty strongly. Um, or, you know, I don't know, God forbid, maybe something went down and now you've gotten evicted or, or you're just something, something, it's something like that. Now it doesn't have to be that. I mean, this could be anything, but that's when, in terms of like coming through with like the, the time constraints, that's kind of what it's feeling like here. And for some reason I'm picking up on divorce specifically, but what I'm, being shown is I'm being taken back to when I was going through a divorce and <clears throat> um, I had to be out of the apartment as soon as, as as possible I had to be out of the apartment that we were living in as soon as possible so that's the kind of time constraint that I'm picking up on however you don't have to freak out about that so keeping up with the example that I'm I'm getting here for me I knew I was under a time constraint and needing to get out of that apartment as soon as possible. But I could only do so much, even though my ex was kind of breathing, breathing down my neck and was kind of being an asshole about it. Um, I mean, he was pretty hurt, so like, I'm not trying to pass judgment on that. Like, we're not going to get into that. But, um, you know, he was really pushing for it. 
and I mean, I wasn't trying to drag my feet, but at the same time, I could only do so much. You know what I mean? I had to leave it up to the universe. And I do remember specifically, very specifically, communicating with Source at the time because I had found an apartment that was really, that I really liked and I really wanted, but you know, obviously it's always up in the air. You never really know if you're actually gonna get it or not, even if things seem to be going well. Um, and I was communicating with Source and Source was, in, was constantly uh, telling me, reaffirming to me that I was going to get the apartment, that everything was going to be fine. I did not need to worry about it. It was all taken care of. And sure enough, it worked out. So in terms of somebody here feeling like they have a time constraint or that they have to rush a situation, you can't. You can only do so much, okay? So, so allowing yourself to freak out about it is only going to create more stress for you, all right? So don't worry about that. Take it as it comes, take it as it will, just go with the flow, right? Okay. I wanna get another pull here, but let's explain. So you have the two of wands, all right? Um, we're gonna talk about the overall energy for a second. You have the two of wands in which you are at a crossroads, okay? There's a change in your path that you are experiencing at this moment, and it's, daunting it's scary okay i get that um change isn't often a comfortable thing okay that's fine on the other side of the deck you do have the page of swords the page of swords energy the, the page of swords has its back to us but to me that's i'm being pulled to or i'm 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 picking up on the fact that he's looking out he's seeking he's looking out in front of him and trying to figure out seven of pentacles how to move on or how to move forward or what needs to change here but i feel like this is the this is a bit of a frantic energy okay this this energy i'm not it doesn't feel too good because of this whole energy of feeling rushed in some way all right again you you can only <laughs> you can only do so much at a given time and if someone around you is trying to make it look like you're dragging your feet or trying to make you feel bad for how long something may be taking, recognize that or see that for what it is. See that as somebody who is in a very hurt, maybe even limited mindset that is regurgitating their fears onto you, right? Okay. Let's get a little bit more here. What else is going on in this situation, please, Spirit? We're gonna stop here. Okay. Okay. Ah, there's the two of wands. Okay, we're still talking about the two of wands now. So we're still talking about this, this, this change. Okay, that you're going through at the other on the other side of the deck is the moon now, in which the, she's facing us here at this point. So I like this. Um, especially with what else has come out here. You have the Ace of Cups with the Sun, okay? The High Priestess and the King of Wands. So this is all a reassuring energy and I love the fact that the Sun and the Moon have come out here for you, especially in the way that it's come out because the Moon here is representing illumination or secrets being revealed, or the energies of the moon in terms of what has been hidden from you, what, what has been a secret I heard, or what you haven't understood, that's coming to light now. And it feels like you're being presented with a choice here, right? Because on this, I like to say this side of the moon is when you wake up from the matrix. You can either take the red pill or the blue pill, okay? You can either you can either draw from the energy of spirit here with this ball of light in her hand, or you can stay swimming in the muck with this weird green stuff, right? Okay, so I just heard this is an awakening period, okay? This is, a, this is either you going through a massive personal spiritual awakening, or this is you going through an awakening in terms of what it is you're finding around you or the circumstances around you that you're recognizing needing to change somehow. 
in line with that, you do have the sun here. Now, it is the side of the sun in which you don't see the actual sun. That's this side, right? But on this side, it's like either the sun is rising or it's setting. And I feel like in this situation here, the sun is rising and that's starting to give you a view of the walls or the confinement that you may find yourself in. Again, there is a level, there's, there's something about a revelation here, something being revealed to you, some sort of secret or a certain understanding that you're coming to that is putting you in this position to have to make a choice, two of wands, to have, to, to, to be experiencing a fork in the road, right? And then keeping with the energies of something being revealed to you, you have the high priestess here. And the high priestess, it's on this side of the high priestess that we find that we have been basically let in on her secrets or we have crossed the veil that she protects on this side. So again, there is awareness coming through here. There are secrets being revealed. There is an understanding that is happening here. And I am feeling specifically that it has to do with self-love because you do have the Ace of Cups here in a night in a nighttime energy. And the first thing that I felt when I saw the Ace of Cups, that side of the Ace of Cups was speaking to your internal reality, inner love. There is a change that you're needing to make here. And in some cases, it feels like you're being forced to make it. Like, you're coming up against it on your path now and because you're be being made aware of something you can't really not handle it you can't really not focus on it you know it's one of those situations where you wake up and you can't go back to sleep right finally with this you have the king of wands and the king of wands is basically in line at this moment. I know this isn't typically how we see the King of Wands, but in this moment, the King of Wands is in alignment with this Ace of Cups or this self-love energy, okay? You're needing to love and appreciate yourself enough to make the necessary changes to your situation. Seven of Pentacles, in order for you to receive or get into alignment with the harvest that it is you truly want or what it is you're really truly trying to create or experience in your life. Now. You're needing to love yourself enough, Ace of Cups, to take the action that you feel guided to take, King of Wands, being confident in yourself enough to know that whatever secret has been revealed here for you or whatever understanding you're, you're coming to in this situation, you need to do what's right for you. You need to do what's best for you. And I do feel like for some of you here, this does involve other people. And that's part of this Seven of Pentacles, almost panicky type energy that I'm feeling here. Because you're needing to make a decision for yourself. Again, awareness has set in. The sun, the moon, and the high priestess. Awareness has set in here to the point where now you're aware of something or you're realizing something and now you need to be confident enough, be bold enough, be selfish enough to move in the direction that's right for you, to do whatever it is you're feeling called to do. Make whatever change it is you're being called to make. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get into some clarification. Five shuffles. One. Three. Four. And five. Whoa. Okay, we're going to take this one. Okay, so the King of Pentacles has popped out, and it's in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Page of Wands here. What I'm getting from this King of Pentacles in reverse is that, first of all, you're changing. You're changing your identity. The King of Pentacles often 
Sorry, there's some drama going on with the chickens down there. Anyway, the King of Pentacles often represents an energy of being feeling solid, stable, and secure within yourself. It's also a card of uh, financial abundance and uh, materialism and all that kind of stuff, right? But here, with the King of Pentacles coming out in reverse, it feels like where you were once stable and sturdy and secure in who you knew yourself to be, or at least what you knew your reality to be, that is no longer the case. That has changed. And for some of you, I was feeling, picking up on that, this King of Pentacles in reverse represents you not feeling safe or secure or grounded in your situation any longer, in your reality. But I'm hearing that's, that, that's mainly because great change is coming. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands represents a message, like the Page of Wands could be a messenger, could also be um, a new creative project, or a change in your identity. Discovering, or di either discovering more about yourself that you may not have been aware of before, or in some cases, Specifically, I'm hearing rediscovering yourself, rediscovering elements of yourself, rediscovering a, a sense of internal power that you may not have been able to express in the past. Okay. So let's talk about the Seven of Pentacles here. Let's get some clarity on that. What is? What can you say about this Seven of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Interesting. All right, so this is why the fear and the panic is setting in. You have the Four of Pentacles. You're at a position right now, and this is the after Tarot, right? So we're seeing how death is approaching this individual who's holding on to these Four Pentacles for dear life, basically heralding a change. Change is coming, all right? And you're having to let go of something, and that's why the panic is setting in. I don't know what it is you're needing to let go of. For some of you, it does involve other people. Um, and maybe your your sense of loyalty is coming into question, but that's all a lie, is what I'm hearing. Don't allow someone to play that game with you. That is a lie, all right? You are needing to let go of this. Because your heart is opening up, which is so interesting, because underneath the moon here, you have the Knight of Cups, which, at the, to me, it was talking about... Um, I mean, I didn't say this, but to me, it was it was talking about a change in your heart, your heart opening up, you becoming, I just heard you declaring what you need, okay? Or maybe even coming to a greater realization of what it is that you need to feel safe, sturdy, and stable on an emotional level, I guess. And so here, the Knight of Cups has also come out here as a clarifier on this Seven of Pentacles. With that, you have the Three of Pentacles. So this is where that sense of self-love is coming in and doing what it is you know is best for you or feeling confident enough to go after what it is that's coming up for you, even though may, other people may not agree. Um, your heart has opened up in a way that is allowing you to focus on self-love um, and a sense of self-mastery, working on yourself, making the necessary changes so that you have a better sense of stability in your life so that you can greater facilitate this change in who you once were or who you thought yourself to be in the past and now recognizing that something isn't right seven of pentacles and you're needing to change because you're coming from a place that's more heart-centered i know that sounds for, for some of you, that sounds counter uh, counterintuitive or counterproductive. Like, maybe, and this might be part of why the panic is setting in, why your ego may be having a field day with this. Because logically, you, you might be saying to yourself, well, if my heart is opening up, if I'm becoming more compassionate, if I'm becoming more loving, if I'm becoming more open then why is it that I'm needing to, have it, needing to have to cut these individuals off or let go of this certain situation? Whatever this is for you, Four of Pentacles. Well, here's the thing about that. That situation, this situation is coming to a close. The world is underneath the Four of Pentacles. So you're needing to give this up to close out this cycle. And I am feeling like a tower moment could be coming because the Four of Pentacles coupled with the world here if this is not, if this is not let go of, 
the universe is going to do it for you. It's this energy of, of this hoarder type energy, the four of pentacles with death creeping up on this individual. It's this energy of holding on to the situation when the universe is working on closing it out for you. It's closing out for a specific reason on a universal level. And if you want, and, and instead of focusing on how logically this doesn't make sense, instead focus on how things aren't fitting, how the pieces aren't fitting into your life any longer and work on making that change. Okay. But yeah, specifically, I did feel like if you hold on to this any much longer, ultimately, I feel like there is a tower moment that may happen in which the universe comes through and says, no, we told you this is going to end. It's time for this to end. You just got to follow through with it. Okay. Let's talk about the high priestess. Because I feel like the high priestess is going to help us understand more of why this is happening. Yeah, so what's this high priestess energy here? What is this revelation? You've been let in on something. You've crossed the veil. You've crossed the threshold. That's enough right there. Death has officially showed up. Yes. Okay, so this is why the situation must end. This could be the understanding that you're coming to. Um, I definitely feel like whatever this situation is that you're needing to let go of, um, that's needing to be released, it feels like it was an initiation of sorts because of the fact that you've been, you crossed the high priestess's threshold somehow, okay? And that's through a situation that was toxic, the devil, and out of balance, temperance. But this is what this is. This feels like it was a past energy, because this is this feels like what it is you the realization that you come to in terms of this situation. And now, the change that's happening here, death and the new opportunity, the new life that you're about to start, the new cycle that you're about to start, Page of Pentacles, is now one in which you can find greater balance temperance now what I'm feeling specifically in this situation here you guys and and this is why this has come out this way with the devil and temperance but the devil is upright and temperance is written in reverse you cannot in this certain situation that you're needing to let go of you cannot find the balance that you need that you desire yes some of you don't quite understand this balance yet, that's okay, but ultimately you need this balance in your life. But this situation is toxic and is keeping you from finding this balance. So the reason why this has come out this way with the devil upright and temperance in reverse is because you're needing to go through this transformation first. You're needing to let go of this energy, you're needing to let go of this cycle first before you can work to find this greater balance in your life, okay? That's why. But see, when you think about it, now that your heart is opening up with that Knight of Cups energy, it makes sense that you would realize, holy shit, this is a toxic situation. And sure, I might be opening up to more compassion and more love and more understanding. And sure, technically that should mean that I have more compassion for other people, but that also means I have more compassion for myself, Ace of Cups. And now I recognize that there are things in my life that are, that are causing great imbalance. And because I love enough, I love myself, well, because I see these things for what they are right now, and because I have the ability to love myself as much as I can unconditionally, that means then that I have the, the self-love to do what is right for me, King of Wands. To be a little bit selfish here and say, well, wait a second, I need to, self-preservation, hello. I can't have all this toxic energy around me and still find balance in my life. And the balance is what I want. So why would I not be allowed to do what is right for me? Why, would it, why wouldn't it make sense that my heart is opening up and thus I am going to take greater care of myself? 
while also taking greater care of you, right? Because if I'm staying in this situation that's toxic and I'm aware of it, technically I'm enabling. And that's not very loving, right? I mean, sure, to a certain extent, it's loving. I mean, the Empress energy tends to be, can be pretty enabling. But at a certain point, it gets to a, like, it, it comes to a, a, a point or a position where you're like, this is bad. This is not good. Like, this is not healthy for me. It's not healthy for you either. I don't want to continue staying involved in this, enabling bad habits like this. And that's part of the realization that comes through when your heart starts to open up. So actually, when you really think about it, it makes sense. It's not so counterintuitive or counterproductive, is it? Okay. Cute. Let's close this reading out with our Oracle guidance, yeah? Okay. Five shuffles here. Get windy, y'all. Just hope the cards don't blow away. Okay, five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four. Closing Oracle Guidance. Okay. We have card number 35, which boils down to an 8, which an 8 is a number of abundance. I felt very strongly that I needed to say that. Abundance is available. Stop freaking out about the minute details, is what I just heard. Let the universe handle that for you, okay? But you have card number 35, Ascended Master Babaji and Diamond. So it shall be. Okay. We bring you the blessing of so it shall be. There are times when you will go through your life journey without any sign of what's going to happen. You may be working hard to heal an issue or build your dream and not really know if you are ever going to be successful. You may hope for the best, but not know whether you should really expect the worst. You may sense that the universe is asking you to trust in how things are going to turn out, and yet giving up your uncertainty is difficult. That usually means total and uncompromising commitment is difficult too. Where there is uncertainty, there is often hesitation and procrastination. Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on your dreams because you lack faith and therefore are holding yourself back from, quote, going for it with all you have within. So you are being given the blessing of divine decree, of absolute confirmation of success, and the divine granting of a wish fulfilled. Switch your thinking from possibility to inevitability. It's not a question of if, but when. Know that you are going to succeed and commit yourself completely. Don't hold back. Go for it with gusto. According to divine will, you shall manifest the highest expression of your divine destiny this lifetime. So it shall be. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>